Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel and today we have another unboxing video and I have here a green Victorinox knife because there is a green pen inside. This is a box that I got from Apple Boom. This is not a pen for review. Of course I will review it. It's not a pen for review or a gift or anything the, or a loan. This is a pen that I bought at Apple Boom for with a promotion of the Fountain Pen Day and I thought this would be a nice purchase. I used some balance I have with them and special codes and this pen arrived to me really really cheap. Sometimes I have some affiliate um, links for Apple Boom so sometimes I get some balance there at their store that I can exchange for pens and this time I got this one because I thought to have such a pen for almost nothing is great so let's take the knife green knife green box green pen all green apple boom and let me show you what we have here Let's open it. I see interesting stuff there, which is Struppwaffel. And yes, I'm a little bit crazy about this. I think one day I will just forget about the pens and just focus on the Struppwaffel. More padding material. Let's take these away. And here we have the pen. It comes packaged like this as a gift. There was no need because this is a gift to myself. And this is a pen that I wouldn't be that really that much um, interested in buying for myself, but I really like the color. I really think it was an interesting addition to the channel. So, and I think I can make some videos with it, so it may be an interesting pen. And because it, with the balance that I had, I, it was very, very, very inexpensive. Almost kind of price of a, a plastic Aveco Sport. So, I think it was worth it, and this is a pen that I will be able to show you on the channel. And here it is. So, it is a pilot pen. It comes in this very simple box they, where they come now. I'm not sure if it comes with... Yes, there is stuff beneath the lining of the cover. So we have, it says Pilot there. It comes with the thing. It comes with the, the warranty and one cartridge, one black cartridge, very simple, and let's take the pen out and let me show it to you. What I bought was, yes, it is a medium nib, I'm not usually, I don't usually go for medium nibs, but this time I thought it would be a nice uh, idea, because lately I got into, a little bit more into Pilot medium nibs and I enjoy them, but I also enjoy a lot Pilot Fine Nibs, so I'm kind of torn between both. It's not that I cannot decide which one I like. I like both kinds of nibs, but I think that I use them for different purposes, because Fine Nib is very special nib and the Medium Nib is very special also, so they serve different purposes. This pen is green and it is transparent green. I'm not sure if I can show it to you. I didn't put that setup where I have a light there to show you the pen, so I cannot show it to you. But I will do it when I make the review. But it is a transparent green pen. It's a trans transparent green that goes a little bit on the gray side, grayish, bluish side but it is transparent. I was thinking if I have any kind of light here to show you, but I don't 
except let me check if I have battery yes I have so give me just a moment and I will try to show you with a light that I have here okay this is a Lume cube this I use these to light my videos and let me take this out of the framing for a little bit and let me try it. okay here I think here it will be better I think it's not that much in the way and when I lift the pen like this you can see it is let me take this away you can see it is green like that it's green it is a cool green it is gray there but green here gray green gray again so this what pen is this I'm talking about it and I didn't say the name of the model this pen is the pilot costume for uh, 74 and it is an interesting pen that I decided to buy although it, as I told you it's not my kind of first um, option for this kind of pen. It is a cartridge converter pen that comes with the nice CON70 inside, which is a very nice uh, converter. The nib seems smooth as always. It, it has a gold nib that is rhodium plated. 14 karat gold nib and it is a pilot nib, which means it will be a great writing instrument. At least this is my general experience with pilot nibs. Now, what do I want? You can see the transparency now. And the grey part there. So this is a very interesting pen. I will take this light away now because we don't need it anymore and it will just make some lens flare. So, just for some comparisons, this pen has this very typical cigar shape that you can see in many other brands and this pen is just like the evolution of another pen that I bought, which is this. This is an older edition of that. This is the Pilot Costume 67 and this is the Pilot Costume 74 and they are very similar pens. If you look at them, they have the same cap clip. The cap bands are different. This one is solid uh, black, this one is translucent green. They have the same rings here, not the same rings on the cap. And when you, they have the same kind of weight. When you unscrew them, the 67 is simpler because it doesn't have the, that ring on the section. And one has one gold, gold colored nib and the other one has a gold rhodium plated nib. Both are number five pilot nibs and I'm trying to see if the engravings are the same and yes they look very similar and the feeds the feeds are different this one doesn't have that hole there to get ink inside so they are nice and they are very comparable in everything this one came with the con uh, 70 also so the same pens let me just make some experiment. Can I fit? Yes, I can fit the barrel of the green pen on the on the vintage. No, the the black barrel on the green on the seven the, the barrel of the sixty sorry the barrel of the sixty seven on the seventy four which is nice and let me see if I can fit the cap I don't want to fully close it in case there is no room inside but yes there is so the, the cap because it's translucent I can see it 
even the caps are inter interchangeable. The biggest difference uh, are the transparency, the color of the trim, but these are minor details, but I would say the biggest details are the, the ring there, this one has a metal section, threads, this one has plastic, so they have different constructions there and also they have different constructions on the cap bands. This has much more vintage feel to it than this one. Now, let me, I think I will bring back my light and I will put it a little stronger here. Let me just put to make kind of a setup. I hope it's not too bright for you, but I will need it for a while. So, let's put the 67 away. I'm trying to show you the pens, but I'm almost blind because of the light is hitting my eye. So I'm trying to look on top from the, at the screen. So we have here the pilot costume. 74 in forest green. However, I would not call this a forest green because this looks like a lot of a bluish green. And I decided to bring some more transparent green pens to the table. So, I bought I brought here the Caveco Ice Sport Green. I brought one Jin Hao 61 Jin Hao 61A also in green the Parker Frontier in green translucent or transparent green and when you look at them the Parker looks a lot like the Jin Hao but when you uncap they are a little different and I brought here also a Schiffer No Nonsense in green. I would say this green is much closer. I will show them all against light for you to see. I have here, this is a very nice shade of ink. They call it forest green, so I, I think this is the nicest kind of green. This is the Sailor uh, Prophet Junior or the also called Sailor Compass, which has a very nice color. And finally, I have here the Sailor King of Pen, the dark champagne, which has this kind of green. So I will put the three, the, not the three, the many pens together. Let me see if I can hold them in a way you can see the transparent parts. And if you are able to compare the colors, because that's the stuff I like to do. Sometimes I don't think I have that much in-depth knowledge to show many things in my videos, but for sure I have lots of pens and I can show them all to you. So I will put the Kavek upside down because it has the, the, the green transparent green parties on the cap. And you can see here. So the Sailor King of Pen is almost a blackish color. Uh, you have these kind of very strong green in these two pens. Also on the Parker um, on the Parker Frontier. I would say the Parker Frontier is very close to these. You can see on the tip, but because it has a very opaque uh, converter inside, it doesn't look like that. This is a yellowish green, very different. So this is one green. I think these all are another shade of green. This is another different one. And I would say that the Schiffer No Nonsense would be the closest to the Pilot, 40, uh, Pilot 74. Even though the Pilot 74 is maybe a little bit bluish and grayish, but I'm not complaining about that. I would say that my favorite green is maybe this, but I think I love these all. So just let's go for a wrap up of the video. 
I got this pilot costume 74 in forest green, lovely color. It is a very similar pen to the pilot costume 74. I would say it is the same pen. The 67, sorry. I would say they are the same pen, but they are also very comparable with the Sailor range. I have here the Sailor Compass or the Sailor Junior, but it doesn't have the ring there on the bottom, just on two on the cap. So I will take this away, but it is similar to the Sailor 1911 large, very similar pen, less thick. This is, uh, I would say, maybe this has a nicer size for my hands, but this is not, this is not a thick pen, but it's not a slim pen. I think this is a very good pen for everyday writing. So, the Sailor, and also the Sailor King of Pen, that I would say it has a very similar kind of construction. All of those are cartridge converter pens. Two Pilot, two Sailor, that I think they have the same kind of aesthetic, except those have more vintage feel to it, because they have the ball clip, and just like the Schiffer No Nonsense, or the Jin Hao. But when we think of these pens, we always think of the Mont Blanc 149, and you have it here, and when you compare the Mont Blanc 149 with the Pilot 67, or the Pilot 74, or the Sailor King of Pen, you can see that the length is not that different. The biggest difference that you will find are the girth of the pens and the size of the nibs. And let me show you that detail. I will uncap the four pens just to show them to you, because I think this is also interesting stuff. So, the length is very similar, the shape is very similar, the filling system, it depends, it's different from the Mont Blanc, the same as the Sailor King of Pen, but you can see there is a very big nib size difference. But I don't really think that is a problem. Let me just show you the Sailor 1911 large, because it is a model that goes in between, so almost the same size, but it has a slightly bigger nib. So all this is very interesting, very nice to see all these comparisons, and I can't wait to ink this pen, I need to think which ink I will put here. So this will be done soon. I have lots of inked pens right now, but I'm not sure if I can resist to do this with that, this one. So, this is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video on my on the unboxing of the Pilot Costume 74 that I got from Apple Boom. I know, long video, no writing samples, but color comparisons and me talking <laughs> endlessly. So, this is all. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to meet you here soon again on my channel. Bye!